I failed society, I failed my family, and I failed Ellie's family, Strauss said before he was sentenced. And most of all, I failed Ellie. I don't expect forgiveness. Eleven-year-old Carly Brucia was abducted in Sarasota 20 years ago. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office released this video of sixth grader Carly Brucia being led from the rear of Evie's car wash in Sarasota, Florida, Sunday, February 1, 2004, by a white male in his late 20s to early 30s, wearing some type of uniform shirt. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office detectives released a video of Carly Brucia being abducted from the rear of Evie's car wash, 4735 B Ridge Road, in Sarasota. A flyer with information about missing 11-year-old Carly J. Brucia is taped to a utility pole Tuesday afternoon, February 3, 2004, at Evie's Car Wash in Sarasota. Family friend Cynthia Luna Center hands copies of flyers to Carly Brucia's next door neighbor Tracy Bissell, left, and her daughter Allison, 9, in Sarasota, Tuesday, February 3, 2004. Susan Shorpin, Carly J. Brucia's mother speaks out to her daughter through television cameras and other media outlets, in Sarasota, Florida, Tuesday, February 3, 2004. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Colonel Terry Lewis, Center, answers a few questions from the media as members of Carly Brucius' family, Eileen Shorpin, grandmother, left, Kurt Shorpin, uncle, and Joe Brucia. Father listened to what he has to say during a press conference at Evie's Car Wash Tuesday, February 3, 2004 in Sarasota. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Major Kevin Gooding informs the media about updates on the Carly Brucia abduction investigation, while family members stand behind him during a press conference at Evie's Car Wash Tuesday, February 3, 2004 in Sarasota. Sarasota County Sheriff William Balkwell addresses the media during a morning press conference at Evie's Car Wash in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office asked the public for assistance surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Carly Brucia. Sarasota County Sheriff Bill Bockwill wears a ribbon that has Carly Brucia's name it. While he was Evie's car wash at 4735 B Ridge Road in Sarasota, Billy Joe Jimenez, left rear, and her mother, Carol Bernhard, left front, and family friend Kay Parker tie pink and purple ribbons around the trees in support of Carly Brucia in front of Evie's car wash in Sarasota. Kurt Shorpin, Carly Brucia's uncle, hands out flyers to motorists driving past Carly Brucia's home in the 3600 block of McIntosh Road in Sarasota. Family and friends gather outside of Carly Brucia home in the 3600 block of McIntosh Road where banners were placed on the house in support of Carly in Sarasota. Members of the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office surround the scene of a home in Sarasota, Florida, while forensic evidence is collected. February 4, 2004. Joseph P. Smith was reported to have been staying at the home and was being questioned while under arrest in unrelated charges in regards to the Sunday abduction of 11 year old Carly Brucia. Sarasota County Sheriff Deputy Dan Tutko stands guard outside of the home in Sarasota, Florida, where Joseph Smith was said to live as media crews arrive. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Captain Jeff Bell holds up a flyer showing suspect Joseph P. Smith during a news conference Wednesday night, February 4, 2004 at Evie's Car Wash in Sarasota. Stephen Kanzler, Carly Brucia's stepfather, and Susan Shorpin, Carly Brucia's mother, wait to talk to the media during a press conference. Carly Brucia's grandmother, Eileen Shorpin, center, comforts family friend Diana Grover as they cry after a press conference at Evie's Car Wash in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. I've known her since she was in diapers, Grover said, and I just want Carly back. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is pleading with the public for assistance surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Brucia Sunday night. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Major Kevin Gooding escorts Susan Shorpin, Carly Brucia's mother, back to a patrol car with assistance from Kimberly Katurin, a family friend, after she spoke to the media. Officer John Shaw with Florida Fish and Wildlife lets his search and rescue canine, Moose, get some air while waiting for orders to head out at Roberts Arena in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is pleading with the public for assistance 
surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Carly Brucia Sunday night. Letters on Macintosh Middle School sign read Carly Hurry Home in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. Carly Brucia attends the school as a sixth grader, where administration and classmates are wearing her favorite color purple to show support the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is pleading with the public for assistance surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Brucia Sunday night. Sarasota County Sheriff Captain Jeffrey Bell reveals the 1992 Buick Century Station Wagon, FL Tag V90EIZ, they say was used in the abduction of Carly Brucia at one of their fleet facilities in Osprey, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is pleading with the public for assistance surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Brucia Sunday night. Marcia Nepp, Wright, and Annette Byler of Sarasota hold signs and candles across the street from Carly Brucia's home in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, February 5, 2004. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is pleading with the public for assistance in leads surrounding the abduction of the 11-year-old Brucia Sunday night. Law enforcement officials walk through the grass searching for possible evidence near the Church of Christ Friday morning, February 6, 2004 in Sarasota, Florida. The body of 11-year-old Carly J. Brucia was discovered next to the church. Brucia had been missing since Sunday. Investigators carry a body from the woods behind Central Church of Christ off Proctor Road in Sarasota, Florida, where 11-year-old Carly Brucia was found Friday, February 6, 2004. Joseph P. Smith was charged with the murder of Brucia after a videotape caught her abduction Sunday at Evie's car wash. Family members and neighbors gather at the Central Church of Christ off Proctor Road in Sarasota, Florida, where the body of 11-year-old Carly Brucia was found Friday, February 6, 2004. Joseph P. Smith was charged with the murder of Brucia after a videotape caught her abduction Sunday at Evie's car wash. FBI Special Agent Carl Whitehead, Center and Sarasota County Sheriff Bill Balkwell, right? lead a team of investigators to a press conference Friday morning in Sarasota, Florida. Investigators announced they had found the body of Carly Brucia, the 11-year-old Sarasota girl who had been the focus national Amber Alert after her abduction was caught on a security camera. Authorities have arrested Joseph P. Smith and charged him with her murder. Children and an adult comfort each other near a makeshift memorial for schoolmate Carly Brucia in Sarasota, Florida, Friday, February 6, 2004. The children, many of whom knew Carly personally, are part of the pet therapy organization and will be helping other students cope at McIntosh Middle School on Monday. From left are Kathy Sidoti, 13, Tiffany Parker, 15, Cheyenne Hartley, 9, Lexis Hamilton, 9, Kathy Alexander, and Victoria Francois, 10. Joseph P. Smith was charged with the murder and kidnapping of 11-year-old Carly Brucia after her body was found behind the Central Church of Christ. Sarah Schmidt with Hawkins Flowers delivers a bouquet of flowers from a family in Pennsylvania at a makeshift memorial at Evie's Car Wash in Sarasota, Florida, Friday, February 6, 2004. Joseph P. Smith was charged with the murder and kidnapping of 11-year-old Carly Brucia after her body was found behind the Central Church of Christ. Brucia's abduction was caught on a security video Sunday night. Allison Bissell, a nine-year-old neighbor of Carly Brucia, walks in front of a sheet of plastic that covers the front of Brucia's home on McIntosh Road that had been painted with You Are With God Now in Sarasota, Florida Friday, February 6, 2004. Joseph P. Smith was charged with murder of Carly Brucia. Teenagers, most from Faith Baptist Church in Sarasota, raise their hands as they sing hymns, songs, and pray, following a candlelight vigil for Carly Brucia, whose body was found this morning, Friday afternoon, February 6, 2004, at Community Bible Church in Sarasota. A makeshift memorial obscures the view of Carly Brucia's home on McIntosh Road in Sarasota, Florida Saturday, January 7, 2004. Mourners have left flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals in front of Carly's home after the Sarasota Sheriff Office announced Friday that they had located her body. Jennifer and Rob Seaman hold their daughter Caitlin Walters, 4, 
as they comfort each other at the makeshift memorial for 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Central Church of Christ off Proctor Road in Sarasota, Florida, on Sunday, February 8, 2004. We really felt that we needed to come, Jennifer said, because it hit so close to home. Joseph P. Smith is being charged with Brucia's abduction and murder after her body was found in the brush behind the church on Friday. A memorial service was held for the recently slain Carly Brucia Tuesday evening at the Central Church of Christ in Sarasota. Over 1,000 people attended the service that presented songs, inspirational speeches, and a chance to place a cup of dirt around a magnolia tree planted in Carly's memory. Carly's mother Susan Shorpin left, comforts Carly's grandmother Eileen Shorpin, right, during an emotional tribute. A memorial service was held for the recently slain Carly Brucia Tuesday evening at the Central Church of Christ in Sarasota. Over 1,000 people attended the service that presented songs, inspirational speeches, and a chance to place a cup of dirt around a magnolia tree planted in Carly's memory. Over 1,000 candles were passed out to attendees of the memorial, and people were able to sign a large book and leave their thoughts on paper for the family. Sarasota County Sheriff William Balkwell hugs Stephen Kanzler, the stepfather of Carly J. Brucia, during a memorial service Tuesday, February 10, 2004 at the Central Church of Christ in Sarasota. Tammy Webster comforts her daughter Carol Sork, 11, at the Celebration of Life in Loving Tribute to Carly Brucia Memorial at the Church of the Palms in Sarasota, Florida, on February 12, 2004. Thousands filled two chapels and a courtyard to reflect on the death of 11-year-old Carly Brucia, who was abducted from a car wash and found murdered. Family photos of Carly Brucia on display at a celebration of life in loving tribute to Carly Brucia that was held at the Crutch of the Palms in Sarasota, Florida Thursday night, February 12, 2004. Carly Brucia's body was found last Friday, February 6, 2004 behind a church in Sarasota. Stephen Kanzler, Carly's stepfather and Susan Shorpin, Carly mother, comforts Leif Shorpin, Carly brother, during the celebration of life in loving tribute to Carly Brucia that was held at Church of the Palms in Sarasota, Florida Thursday night, February 12, 2004. Carly Brucia's body was found last Friday, February 6, 2004 behind a church in Sarasota. Joseph Smith, who is accused of abducting and killing 11-year-old Carly Brucia in Sarasota in February 2004, listens to prosecutors during his first court appearance at the Manatee County Jail at Port Manatee on a drug charge stemming from an earlier arrest. Smith was arrested for violation of his probation after officers found drug paraphernalia in a car at his home during the search for the missing child. Joseph Smith sits with his public defender team Adam Tebrug, left, and Stephen Schaefer, right, after testimony concerning his alleged confession to his mother and brother in the February 2004 abduction and murder of 11-year-old Carly Brucia during a hearing at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, October 13, 2005. The court is considering whether evidence such as the confession, as well as the security video that caught the abduction, can be used in the upcoming trial. Assistant State Attorney Deborah Johns Riva, left, arrives with Sarasota County Sheriff's Detective Toby Davis, right, on the first day of the trial of Joseph Smith for the abduction and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota. Public defender Adam Tebrug makes his way through the media on the first day of the trial of Joseph Smith for the abduction and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota. Joseph Smith looks at his public defender while listening to testimony on the first day of his trial for the abduction and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota. Mike Evanoff, owner of Evie's Car Wash, testifies about the security video that his camera caught on the first day of the trial of Joseph Smith for the abduction and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota. Ed Dines, friend and business partner of Joseph Smith, points towards Smith in the courtroom identifying him as the person he believed was on the security videotape of 11-year-old Carly Brucia being led away at Evie's car wash by man during the second day of the trial at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Tuesday, November 8, 2005. Smith is on trial for the abduction, rape, and killing of Brucia in February 2004. Assistant State Attorney Deborah Johns Riva, right, 
and Sarasota County Sheriff's Detective Toby Davis hold up the mechanic's uniform of Joseph Smith as evidence during the second day of the trial at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Tuesday, November 8, 2005. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia. Sarasota County Sheriff Deputy Sheila Sullivan points out where she located the body of 11-year-old Carly Brucia at the Central Church of Christ on the third day of the Joseph Smith trial at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota. Sarasota County Sheriff Crime Scene Technician Lisa Lanham left watches a video in court along with Assistant State Attorney Craig Schaefer, right, Thursday, November 10, 2005. They were watching a video of the crime scene that Lanham shot during her investigation of the murder of Carly Brucia. Defendant Joseph Smith looks at his lead attorney Adam Tebrug Thursday, November 10, 2005, during Smith's trial at the Sarasota County Judicial Center. Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia in February 2004. Karen Korsberg, a hair and fiber examiner with the FBI office in Virginia, examines the contents of an evidence container Thursday, November 10, 2005, during the trial for Joseph Smith at the Sarasota Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Korsberg, did extensive examination of hair and fabric fibers on evidence that was sent to her office. The contents of the container was the red shirt that 11-year-old Carly Brucia was wearing when found dead. Circuit Court Judge Andrew Owens considers a defense argument concerning videos of John Smith talking about reward money on the seventh day of the trial of Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Wednesday, November 16, 2005. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly. From left, Public Defender Adam Tebrug and Assistant State Attorney Deborah Johns Riva watches Guy Sesta, the owner of a tree trimming company, points out where he saw a suspicious person near where Carly Brucius' body was found on the seventh day of the trial of Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Wednesday, November 16, 2005. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia. FBI forensic examiner Jennifer Lutman displays to the jury the tattered and stained red shirt 11-year-old Carly Brucia was wearing when her body was found on the fifth day of the trial of Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Monday, November 14, 2005. DNA evidence was presented in court Monday, revealing that scientific evidence from a semen sample on the shirt matches Smith's which was also mixed with the DNA of Brucia. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly. Assistant State Attorney Dennis Nails left and Deborah Johns Riva leave court after the prosecution rested and made their closing argument on the seventh day of the trial of Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Wednesday, November 16, 2005. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia. Public defender Adam Tebrug answers questions from the media after waiving the defense's right to make a closing argument on the seventh day of the trial of Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Wednesday, November 16, 2005. Joseph Smith is charged in the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly. Susan Shorpin, left, mother of 11-year-old Carly Brucia, weeps with Judy Cornett, a victim and advocate herself. As the verdict of guilty on all counts is read against Joseph Smith at the Sarasota County Judicial Center in Sarasota, Florida, Thursday, November 17, 2005, Joseph Smith was convicted for the abduction, rape, and killing of 11-year-old Carly Brucia in February 2004 and faces the death penalty. A gardening glove rests on a bench in Carly's Secret Garden Thursday at McIntosh Middle School in Sarasota in February 2005. The large garden was donated to the school and is kept by students after fellow student Carly Brucius' abduction and murder. The spot where 11-year-old Carly Brucius' body was found is now a memorial dedicated to her on the property of the Central Church of Christ in Sarasota. The Garden of Joy is a winding path with benches and plantings that lead to a pool and headstone with Carly's likeness etched on the front. Volunteers maintain the garden and its landscaping and businesses have donated materials and services to enhance the memorial dedicated to the memory of Carly Brucia.
flowers and cards were left at the base of the pool Friday, November 18, 2005, after the verdict of guilty was handed to Joseph Smith. Rick Vanderkrotz of Sarasota was present during the original dedication of the Garden of Joy in 2004 and came to place a single rose at the base of the garden pool.